Hello. Right, talking about travel websites is 8.1H. Here we go. Right, ladies and gents. Here we go. So because the main street, uh, the main train station uh, lies only five minutes away, is the first part of the clause. It is also good if you want to take a trip to discover the surroundings. Okay, now, so we've got Vile. He's going to Vile. Um, now, uh, the main station is Der Hauptbahnhof Meiner Damen und Herren. So, Hauptbahnhof. Bahnhof, okay, is just the train station, and Haupt means the main, okay? Now, lies. Now, in a minute, it's got to uh, go somewhere else because of the verb. So, this is the verb here, ladies and gents. So, war der Hauptbahnhof liegt. Remember, that's got to go to the end of the clause. So, it's going to end up over here somewhere. Now, only five minutes away. Now, only is nur. Uh, fünf, so fünf Minuten, meine Damen und Herren. So fünf Minuten, fünf Minuten. Now away, entfernt, distanced, if you like. So entfernt. Okay, and then what we got to do is send this lead over here to the other side, like so. So war der Hauptbahnhof, Hauptbahnhof nur fünf Minuten entfernt liegt, because the main train station uh, lies only five minutes away. It is, now it is, is es ist. Now we, we have verb backing on verb around this comma here. So ist es with regards to connective constructions. Right, now also is auch, ist, ist es auch gut, jawohl. So ist es auch gut. Okay, and that's a nice, uh, rich sentence full of connectives. So, this is auch gut, wenn, if or whenever. So, okay, so when in the sense of if or whenever. Um, now, let's use man here. So, if you want to, so wenn man will. That would be all right if there was nothing else coming over here, you know what I mean? So, the will has to end up over here at the end of this um, uh, clause as it were. So to make a trip it's going to end up over here, alright? And then this discover bit, discover the surroundings, okay, it's going to be a separate clause. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, now uh, to make a trip is einen Ausflug machen. So the, einen Ausflug is the trip bit. So Ausflug I suppose you've got other words like Reise and so on. Fart is a good word. Right, now to uh, take or make is machen. So that needs to actually be over here. Okay, if you find a dictionary, it would actually be listed as einen Ausflug machen. Okay, now that is the second verb in the mode of. So if we didn't have the ven there, this would actually be correct. So man will einen Ausflug machen. Uh, one wants to do a trip. Okay, um, is the posh way of saying that. But because you've got then there, we have to then send that first verb to the end of the clause as well. So this will then go over here, like so. Okay, now we've got another verb dictating this part of the long sentence here. So we're treating that separately. That does not come into the structure here. So wenn man einen Ausflug machen will, okay, uh, to discover the surroundings. The implication being, in order to describe, describe, in order to discover the surroundings. So we need um zu. Okay, this is a brilliant sentence to try and work out. Love it. So um zu is what we need. So we got our um, okay, and then we got our zu. So um and then zu. So in order to discover, okay, now to discover in German, ladies and gents, is entdecken. So entdecken, okay, is that here. Entdecken is to discover. Now that has to go at the end. So the entdecken is going to go here. The surroundings is going to go between the um and the zu. And surroundings is the umgebung, okay, the around giving, literally, if we want to be really literal. So we need to cut that and put it between the um and 
the two so bring it down here and place it in like so uh, and there we have it the how point here we've got like a little summary of all the key structures involved there we've got the vial kicking uh, kicking off we got the verb backing on a verb here we got the then then kicking in and then we got the um so at the end a beauty this one it's a beauty as a sentence as sentences go right there's a summary well it's not a summary really it's just uh, uh, a backup it is a backup backup of the backup right unfortunately later so unfortunately we have to start off with a negative word of the sentence so later which is already causing me consternation so later can i have verb as a second idea here so what have we got here so unfortunately my wife and i almost never sleep so we're going to use now did i say sleep i said i meant slept past tense so past tense ladies and gents okay we're going to use the perfect tense here so um uh so we're going to use um you can start off with harbin because it's plural my wife and i so we're going to have harbin minor frau und ich so minor get that right so minor frau and ich have my wife and i literally almost never slept now slept is uh schlafen past participle past participle schlafen is geschlafen so all we have to do is add on g at the thumb like so and we don't have to put it in uh, anywhere else in terms of the word order because it's kind of sits nicely already in front of the comma at the end of the clause so almost never ladies and gents is fast is almost and knee is never knee like that yes you can say it like that how why not so leider haben meine frau und ich fast nie geschlafen unfortunately my wife and i almost never slept because so this is the reason so vile now uh, the traffic noise lamb is noise so it's de fikers lamb so you got fikers and then you got lamb so the fikers lamb uh, made this impossible so we got vile here okay and this made okay we're going to use the imperfect tense here so the imperfect tense of made okay so you got machen is to do okay add on te here okay for all the um singer activities like ich machte i made sie machte she made and so on machten will go with uh, the plural forms like wir for example adding on an n yeah so that will end up over here in a minute so dies is this now impossible is unmöglich so you got unmöglich meine damen and herren is impossible so machte need to cut it and we need to put it over like so so have a good look at that one there make sure you've understood the grammar involved in that okay lamb is noise okay all right so moving on to number three because the hotel is located opposite the Colosseum, it was very easy to visit the famous sites in rome so because now we've got reflexive now we've got reflexive here to be located is sich befinden so you've got sich befinden ladies and gents means to be located you often find that this is uh, the the uh, the reflexive is often put straight after the vial okay um so we're going to do that in a minute okay so so literally because itself literally das hotel so the hotel finds itself if you like okay so if we look at it word order wise in that sense because the the hotel itself is located or finds itself opposite the whatever okay do you like these actions i'm doing i'm doing these actions right is located now befinden so befinden uh changes to befind it because we're only talking about a uh, hotel and nothing else so it's singular um uh, we're going to need to put that at the end of the clause in a minute now opposite of the uh coliseum is okay it's a bit of a bit of an interesting one this one so gegenüber is opposite okay we're going to literally say opposite from the or of the coliseum so we need 
Fondame, which is shortened to FOM. So Giganuba FOM Colosseum. Now we need to, if I can use the term, Germanize that. Okay, yes. So, war sich das Hotel gegenüber von Colosseum befindet? So we now put this over here. Okay, so this now means because the hotel is situated or located opposite the Colosseum, it finds itself, the hotel finds itself opposite the Colosseum. It was, is s -var, okay, verb backing on verb in a connective uh, structure. We need to turn it around to var s. Uh, very easy. Sehr leicht. So you got sehr uh, leicht, meine Damen und Herren, wie das. Make it a little bit smaller to get everything uh, fitted in. Now, uh, so, weiß er leicht, comma. So we're going to treat this as uh, another clause here. The verb is this here. Okay, so it was, it was very easy to visit. So the to visit is going to go to the end of this next clause. So we're literally going to say the famous sites in Rome to visit. Okay, so to visit, um, you've got besuchen, but you also, in terms of sightseeing, you've got this word here, besichtigen. So zu besichtigen. Um, okay, now the famous sites. Uh, this is pretty long in German, so D. Now, berühmt um, is famous, so you've got berühmt uh, wie das, um, add on en, which is an adjective, so die berühmten. Now, sites, I love this word, okay, this is going to take it way off the page, so let's take it down a notch or two. Now, sites is things worth seeing, so Sehenswürdigkeiten, yeah, so Sehenswürdigkeiten. Kitten is uh, sites. The das meine Damen und Herren it still has a knock on effect. Uh, the beautiful thing about Rome and German is you don't need an E. Yeah. Right, so there we have uh, that there. And if you think we're finished, no, we haven't because we haven't actually put the verb over there yet, have we? So, die Brunten Sehenswürdigkeiten Rom zu besichtigen is what we need there at the end, ladies and gentlemen. Right, okay, so let's have a look at that there. Uh, moving on now to number four. So, a vol is kind of like a vile situation. So, a vol via, now, although we stayed, now, although we stayed at the hotel in the autumn, comma so we're dealing with this here so the stage bit has got to go over here and because it's of vol whatever's the first verb is the two verbs involved here we're going to use the perfect tense again the first verb is going to end at, right at the end so stayed is uh let's just do it as though it's not there first of all so wir haben übernachtet is we stayed okay now with Übernachtung, we don't, it's not separable, you don't put a G in the front, but this, by the same token with Uber, when you're forming the past participle, you don't put GE at the front either. So, straight away, now in terms of, imagine that of all isn't there, Übernachter then needs, will need to go towards the end of the sentence, and present circumstances be at the end of, not, well I say sentence, I mean clause in this particular case. So, we got it there. And then, because we've got a vol there, the vile situation, we then need to then put that beyond the übernachter as well. So, in the hotel, ladies and gents, is im. So, you've got im hotel, meine Damen und Herren. So, im hotel. Now, im herbst is in the autumn. So, you've got im herbst. It's a time phrase, put a time, manner, place put it in front of the hotel ladies and gents okay and yeah you guessed it impact knows how to have impact all right changes any font put next to it right so the weather was so we got a verb here so we literally got to say was the weather so var das wetter now still warm is uh, noch warm Hey, we don't have to change a word there, guys. Und, and. 
Now, we were able to sit on the balcony in the evening. So let's just get that all in. Will it let us? Yes, right. So we were able to, on via, now, um, Conton, past tense of Kernan, all right, so Conton, modal verb in the imperfect. Uh, to sit is Zitzen. Let's get rid of that. So you've got Zitzen, Vidas. That, ladies and gents, needs to be cut and put over here like so. It all still fits in. Now, um, on the balcony, Alf, uh, Deem, Balcon. So you've got Alf, Deem, Balcon, Vidas, meine Damen und Herren. And in the evening, evenings is Abends. So Abends, time phrase, guys. Okay, you put it over here and there you have it. Okay, so modal verb. Okay, here, second verb in the infinitive dictionary form, time word before place. So there we have number four, ladies and gents. Moving nicely. Number five, here we go. The hotel, das Hotel, was, war. Now, uh, very hard or difficult to find is sehr. You can have schwierig or schwer. Let's use schwer because it's a shorter word. Zu finden. Okay, to find. Zu finden. Nice, straightforward um, structure there. War zu finden. Yeah. Das Hotel war schwer zu finden. Even sogar. Okay, for our taxi drivers. So let's just try and get everything in here. So for our taxi driver, okay, we need für uh, our taxi driver. So unseren uh, taxi fahrer. So you got taxi, and you got uh, fahrer wie das. All right. So now who? So the who here is referring to the taxi driver. So it's going to be dare. All right, it's not a question. Okay, it's a relative clause that has the same effect as vile in so far as telling the first verb that comes after it. Brr, don't do that. To the end of the sentence. So I really make that noise. Yes, I did. Right, had to. Now mustn't is to have to. So musta, ladies and gents, is had to. So that's got to go at the end. Let's put it over here first, like so. And the other verb, um, the dictionary infinitive form verb, so to speak, goes just in front of it. So we put it over there. All right, and our muster has fallen off the cliff. Right, so four directions several times. Now, um, um, we got four directions. We got the phrase nach dem Weg, literally after the way. Okay, nach dem Weg, according to the way, after the way, we had to ask. So uh, that translates as four directions. We had to ask them for the four directions, nach dem Weg, after the way. Yeah, literally. Several times, ladies and gents, is mehrmals, and it's a time word. So it needs to come back here let's put it in there like so right that is number five have a good look at it okay uh number six number six number six moving on so the staff the personnel that's personnel of deutsch so okay good start in it in it why well, say in it for don't know now also has to move in a minute so auch makes it sound like good English. Now the personnel tried, that she has tried, so uh, the imperfect, sorry, the perfect, why well, I say imperfect for, now hat versucht, remember versuchen does not add on GE, because it's V-E-R in terms of what it begins with. Now I have this structure with versuchen, whereby, okay, whatever comes after it, um, I, I tried to play football. I tried to cook the meal, etc. and so on. You have this two structure coming after, which you've got down here. Okay, so we just move the auch, better place, well, say better place, it is placed. Now we're putting it between impact. 
If we put it between impact, it changes fonts. So let's change it back then. Okay. So to make our stay perfect. So das Post now hat auch versucht. Okay. To blah blah blah. Okay. So um, to make to machen. That's going to end up at the end of the sentence, ladies and gents. So to machen wie das our stay. Unseren Aufenthalt. So Aufenthalt means uh, stay. Aufenthalt, good word. And perfect, per perfect. Come here. It's perfect. So we need to swap some things around, ladies and gents. So here we go. Getting the verb to the end. Okay, so this Versuchen with zu structure is well worth learning. Ich habe versucht, blah blah blah, zu blah blah blah, yeah? All right, summary of it down there. So let's have a look at uh, that sentence there. In additions, ladies and gents. Okay, let's translate some of these sentences. Das war, that was, unser erstes Mal, our first time in Madrid. So unser is our, erstes Mal. So it's das Mal, so you add on ES, okay? So, aber, but, es war eine Katastrophe. It was a catastrophe. Aus wir, when we, endlich angekommen waren, when we finally arrived, so it takes sein, an, ankommen, to arrive, angekommen is past participle, okay, it takes waren, which is sein, basically, okay, so look at the word order, when we uh, finally arrived, waren, so verb, backing on verb, war die Rezeptionistin, the receptionist, was etwas unhöflich, somewhat, is etwas here, unhöflich, impolite. Right, moving on guys. Uh, es hat lange gedauert, it lasted long, it took a long time, before wir, before we, auf unser Zimmer, um, gehen konnte, before we could go to our room. Auf unser Zimmer to our room. Am schlimmsten, worst of all. Aber, how war aber, aber, was however, das Zimmer. So, worst of all was the room. Klein, small, schmutzig, dirty, und es roch, it smelt nach Zigaretten. It smelt of cigarettes, literally after cigarettes. Mitten in der Stadt, in the middle of the town, middle in the town, literally, is das Hotel. The, uh, is the hotel. So the hotel is in the middle of town. Perfect for, perfect for, okay, so for sightseeing, aus auch shopping. So this is this uh, both and phrase. So both for sightseeing uh, and shopping, okay. So this so for, so aus auch means both dot 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 and dot dot dot. Unser Zimmer. Our room war sehr preiswert, was very uh, reasonable in price. Yeah, price worth, literally. Wir hatten, we had, ein geräumiges, a roomy, spacious, sehr schön, very beautifully, ausgestattenes Doppelzimmer, uh, furnished double room, or quit uh, double room. Right, wir haben uns auch gefreut, we were also pleased, okay, sich Freuen auf, okay, sich freuen, um, so sich freuen, basically, we also, we're also pleased, das, that, so our situation, unser Zimmer, our room, and a, bal and a balcon hatte, had a balcony, hatte, that verb going to the end. Das Frühstücksbuffet, uh, the breakfast buffet, haben wir, uh, genossen, we enjoyed. Genießen is to enjoy. Genossen is the past participle of it. So, haben wir genossen, we enjoyed, jeden Morgen, every morning, richtig, properly. We really enjoyed it, yeah? Da, since, uh, or as, die Auswahl enorm war. Since the choice was enormous. This da has the effect of sending the verb to the end as well. It's like vile. So, since the choice was enorm. Okay, this one. Before wir das Haus verließen, before we left the house, so verlassen is to leave, verließen is the imperfect form of it. 
So before wir das Haus verließen, verb back on verbs, var situation, suchte, I looked for, I sought, mein Vater, sorry, it's not my, it's a, mein Vater suchte, so, uh, I got that completely wrong, didn't I? My dad sought, or oh, look for Zainer Strassenkarte for his street map. So let's do that again. Before we left the house, my father looked for his street map. Schließlich, finally, fand er sie. He found it. Z referring to the fact that Strassenkarte is feminine, die Strassenkarte. So finally, he found it. So word order, inversion, subject is there over here. Aber, but, uh, weil, because, s, um, now, find gab over here, okay, it's gone to the end of the clause, weil, s, gab, because there was a problem, a problem mit meinem Sicherheitsgut, with my seatbelt, im Auto, in the car, fuhren wir ab, we drove away, um, Eine Stunde später, one hour later. Or I would say translate this S here as almost one hour later due to that fact. Now it actually translates as only one hour later, which implies that that wasn't long, but there we go. Unterwegs, on the way. Unterwegs means on the way. Look at it, that word. Zum Hafen, to the harbour, to the port. Hatten wir, we had, inversion, verb, subject. Uh, we have then, dann, auf der Autobahn, on the motorway, eine Panne, a breakdown. So eine Panne means a breakdown. Okay, ladies and gents, das ist das. Dankeschön und tschüss. Ideas as to how to use this. Oh, sorry, how, what to do with it, basically. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. And the rationale behind the methodology is here.